but I'm I'm mean. You're not mean at all. You're like a clown. What? I'm like a what? Clown. Oh my god, the abuse I take in this class, this is unacceptable. So which one did you choose? Strange accident. Aha, just because you like color, right? No, my daddy thinks that, so I have to follow it. <laughs> yeah, you like it because it's purple. See? Purple. Purple. Oh, you have it black and white, so you don't know? There, there's, there's color, and, and the girl has brown and blonde, but the other is purple and blue. But they are the same. They're purple and blue? Yes, and they are brown and blonde. Oh my god. Brown and blonde. You're talking about the people? Yes. Sally and Emily. <laughs> yes, you're talking about the hair. Okay. <laughs> you had me a little confused. Hmm. All right, then. So how are you today? Good. You're good, good, good? Yeah. Are you, is your school in school or are you <laughs> studying online? Online. Oh, you're online too, huh? Okay. Okay. All right, Benicia. What we're going to do, this is how we do these tests. You're going to read that story to me. Yeah. All right, and then what you're going to do, and you'll be able to use the book to check your answers. This is interest seven, not interest 37. Um, so, but what you have to do is tell me what happened. Tell me okay. what the story was, yeah? Re retell the story. And then I'm going to ask you some questions so I can see how you use your grammar in speech and how you use, uh, what words you use to explain yourself. And that way I get to know how much you understand of what you are reading, what you read. So it's pretty simple. You're going to be okay? You ready to do this? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anybody with a purple sofa can do anything. Okay. Why are you always seeing a purple sofa? Maybe you have to wear your, 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 your sunglasses again. That's okay if you call it a banana. I'm just okay if you say it a yellow sofa. But, but, but my, my sunglasses make everything look yellow. Yes, I know. What about you with your sunglasses and the uh, banana? It's yellow. Maybe you say it's a purple banana. No, when I, when I see the banana, it looks black. Black. <laughs> you never seen a black, a black tomato? A black uh, tomato. A black, a black banana? I have seen it once when it's, when it's not delicious. I throw it in garbage. I you throw it in the garbage. It's called being rotten. <laughs> you are going to be sick when you eat it. Yeah, you could. That's true. All right, little Benicia. <laughs> read the story to me. Okay. Last month, two brothers, 16 years old, George and 18 years old, David, were on their own at home. One Saturday afternoon, their parents were on a week trip with some friends. <clears throat> their parents, their, they were in their dad's car. George was bored and wanted to have an adventure. Let's drive into town this even evening, he suggests to David. You're 18 years old. You can drive mom's car. David wasn't happy about it because he wasn't allow allowed to drive drive his mom's car. But he was bored too, so he agreed. The boys arrived into town center and decided to go to the cinema. David parked it, parked the car carefully outside. 
the cinema. They watched a great film. They were hungry after the film, so they stopped it at ca a cafe and ordered a pizza. <clears throat> Their friends Sally and Emily were there. We're going to a nightclub now, say Sally. Do you want to come? The boys weren't tired, so they agreed. When they arrived at the nightclub, David parked, parked to the car carefully in the street. George and David stayed in the nightclub for a long time. When they walked back to the car, they noticed something terrible. Oh no, shouted David. There's a big dent in the back of the car. The boys were very worried. They hurried home and waited until 7 a.m. <clears throat> they, then they found a garage and explained the problem. A mechanic repaired the car and the boys parked it outside the house just in time. A few minutes later, their parents returned home. The boys were too scared, scared to say anything about the car. But come, but later that day, their mother wanted to use her car. Hey, later that, hey, come on and look at this. She shouted the boys were very nervous. I think mom is angry, said, said, said George, but she wasn't angry. She looked at very surprised. She continued. I don't understand. A van crashed into my car last Thursday, but now you can't even see the dent. Do you remember what a dent is? A dent is something that crashes into your van and it's a big hole in the back. A big hole or a big uh, indentation is what they call it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hmm. So we got to remember when we have those T's, stop. K, walk, K, park. It's not parking. It's not stopping. Remember, it's a T sound. Stop. Park. Yeah, we're going to practice that next time in class. But those ED sounds are all T sounds. All right. Good, good, good. Very good reading. You have very good pronunciation. Say thank you. Thank you. I don't know what, I, what did I say thank you for. Because it's a compliment. I said you have very good pronunciation. Uh, now I understand. <laughs> now you understand? All right. Let's see if you understand the story. So tell me about uh, who was it? David and George. <laughs> who are David and George and what did they do? They did nothing. Their, their mother just crashed into another van, but their mother didn't tell the didn't tell the boys so they the boys were very surprised when they see a big dent they weren't noticed something before uh, they thought they caused the dent but it wasn't yeah. at all but they did do something wrong what did they do wrong they they drive their mom's car without asking <clears throat> exactly do you ever take your mom's car and drive without asking? I would want to, but I'm I'm afraid I could crash and I did didn't have money to pay. <laughs> Just don't that. crash. Easy. But, but I cannot reach the brakes or or some or something to use to drive and so the car could could drive. Can you see can you see over the dashboard? What's the dashboard? Where the steering wheel is and the dashboard is the top where the window is? Maybe just a little bit, but the, the steering wheel is heavy, so I cannot turn right, left, or straight. Okay, so maybe you shouldn't drive mom's car just yet. Yes, I'm uh -huh. waiting for my 18 years old, then I can drive mom's car. Woohoo! So only eight more years to go? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> long, long, long time. Oh, it's not that long, believe it or not. Okay, so David and George were alone at home? Yes, their parents were going with their friends to a week trip, like a vacation. 
Yeah, weekend getaway. That's right. That is absolutely right. Hmm. So, yeah, you already answered this. So, David and George's parents went away for the weekend with their friends. Yeah. Okay. So, that's already answered. Um, were both boys bored at home? Yes, they were bored. <clears throat> Did it say why they were bored? Mm. Because they, they didn't do, they doesn't have anything else to do. So what would you do if you were home all alone and your parents were out? I will play with my dolls and watch TV until it's, it's the middle of the night because no one is watching me. <laughs> so you can just watch TV all night. <laughs> do you watch a lot of English TV shows? Yes, my film always watches English. My brother didn't understand it, but I didn't. But I don't want to tell him because I'm bored to tell it. It's a long film, so I don't want to tell it. Just watch. <laughs> okay. Well, how old is your brother now? Three, almost four. This week, his birthday, so he's almost four. So he's four this week. Well, yeah. he hasn't even started school yet, so we'll give him a few more years. No, he's in daycare, and daycare has school, so he, he's learning to school. Is when he's listening my English, he's trying to speak English, but I don't understand anything he said. <laughs> It'll come. Give, it, give him a little bit of time. George and David's friends, Sally and Emily, were at the cinema? No, they were at the pizza, the cafe, so they can order a pizza because they were hungry after the bill. That's right. They were at the cafe ordering pizza. So, they like pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Does Benicia like pizza? Yes, I like the cheese one. <laughs> the cheese, me too. The cheese makes it, it wouldn't be pizza without the cheese. Yes, but I only like the cheese, or maybe like the cheese with a pepperoni, but I love most the cheese. Mm, me too. My brother likes with, with the pepperoni, but he doesn't eat the pizza. He only eats the pepperoni, so we have to finish the pizza. With no pepperoni. <laughs> no. Oh my god. You have to have a talk with your little brother. That's just I did, but he won't listen. I said, don't do it again. He said yes. Yeah. And then when we come another pizza, he eats the pepperoni. Only. <laughs> does, he leave, does he leave the cheese? Yeah, he leaves the cheese. So he only takes the pepperoni, but he leaves the cheese. Yeah. He doesn't like the pizza. Okay. Well, then that's not too bad. At least you still have the cheese. If he only eats the cheese and the pepperoni, it's only going to be the bread. And How will he always eat that? There's <laughs> no topping. No toppings. Zero. That's just unacceptable. <laughs> All right. Yeah, mechanic, you got that right. The H is silent. What does a mechanic do? Fixing cars, aeroplanes, vehicles. Yeah, anything with a motor, yeah, different kinds of mechanics. That's right. So the mechanic repaired the dent before his parents, his parents come home. Did they? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, you already said this when I asked you about the story. When did the dent happen? Mm, Thursday. Last Thursday. So what day is the story being told? Uh, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday or Sunday morning, I think. I think Saturday night they went out. And it was Sunday morning they got the car fixed, right? Yes. Because it's 7 a.m. Exactly. Very good, Benicia. Very good, very good, very good. You had a very, very wonderful first test with me and knew it. You did good. So I hope we will see you again next week for our interest eight. Eh. Okay. So tonight we're finished. Tonight is just testing. Now after you, mm -hmm. I've got uh, Mimi, and then I've got Alien, and then I've got Lily, and then I've got Dudley, and then I've got Jason. 
So I'm going to okay. do all their tests. After and, that, uh, you're going to go to sleep or you're still working. Because I'm more, after I eat my my food, I'm going to watch TV until 9, 9, 9 p.m. And then I'm straight to bed. When my daddy comes, I already fell asleep. Ah, well, try to because I wake up at early. I cannot wake up early every day. <laughs> what time do you wake up? Uh, six. Uh, six thirty. It's not bad if you go to bed at nine o'clock. Yes, but every time I wake up, I have to wake up at six forty-nine. I'm gonna six forty-five. That's when I wake up. My daddy called me and I'm still snoring. How can I wake up like that? <laughs> That's just not good. That's just not good at all. My school my school starts at 7 a.m. So I cannot wake up at 6.45. And you got ready. You got to have something to drink and something to eat. You got to wash up your face. and. Look no, when I always eat. I close my camera. And when my teacher talks, I still listen. And I always eat. And you so, turn your camera off in class? I would delete you. No, he's not going to eat me. <laughs> I would no. delete you if you turn your camera off on me. But I'm, I'm mean. You're not mean at all. You're like a clown. What? I'm like a what? Clown. Oh my God, the abuse I take in this class. This is unacceptable. <laughs> All right, Benicia, you go have something to eat. I hope you're eating healthy. Hope you do a little exercise before you go to bed. And we'll like see you one. next Thursday, same time, 7.15, and we'll start interest eight. Okay. Good night, Benicia. Bye-bye.